This was my second year ever attending RamenCon. Last year, I praised this convention for being a great place to meet new people and hang out with friends. Does it still hold true in 2016? RamenCon 2016 is held once again at the Radisson Star Plaza Hotel in Merrillville, Indiana. Roughly 45 minutes away from downtown Chicago, and about 2 hours away from Indianapolis. I'm not going to cover much about this location, as this hotel will be demolished next year for a bigger and better venue. But from my past experiences at this location, I've always felt that this venue was for the most part just right for a convention this size. I never had issues with crowding, and I felt that all the panel rooms were big enough to complement the amount of attendees at this convention. As for the new location, RamenCon 2017 will be held in South Bend, Indiana, about 70 miles away from the old location. Those traveling from Chicago or Southern Indiana will travel a little further to get to this new location. I really hope that the new location continues to deliver as the old location did and opens up room for this convention to expand. I never ran into any issues with the con's organization. Panels I went to started on time, and I never had any issues with the con scheduling. The Ramen Con staff did an excellent job running this convention. They were extremely friendly, always on top of things, and yes, they did a great job checking for badges. The con's organization definitely wouldn't be as strong if it weren't for this amazing staff. One of the biggest selling points of RamenCon is the strong social atmosphere this convention brought to the table. As I said in the beginning, RamenCon is a great convention to meet new people and hang out with friends. The moment I stepped into this convention, I felt that everyone was like one big family. RamenCon's community felt very welcoming. After attending several other conventions this year, I felt that RamenCon's social atmosphere was among the strongest I have ever experienced. For those who are looking for a place to meet new friends and to share your love and fandoms for anime and video games, then RamenCon is the con for you. In addition to the strong social atmosphere, RamenCon also offered a solid lineup of panels. There were the main events, all the guest panels, panels put on by the fans, the catwalk on Saturday, as well as cosplay foam fighting. They also had a really good rave on Saturday night. The music was great, the lighting was on point, and I really enjoyed the DJ's performance. I felt that this rave was so full of energy and everyone participated looked to have a really great time. Of course, a convention isn't complete without a nice guest list. I felt that RamenCon brought a great lineup of voice actor, musical, and cosplay guests. Looking at their past lineup of guests, RamenCon is known to bring several big names to their convention and it's no different this year. Those looking for a strong interaction with guests will have a lot to love here. I also wanted to mention autographs at RamenCon. I really liked how it was laid out. For most of the guests, their autograph sessions occur in the same room as their panel right before their panel starts. If a guest needed more time at autographs, they can use some panel time to ensure that everybody has an autograph and a photograph with them. Now let's talk about the dealer's room. In short, Ramen Khan's dealer's room doesn't really have much going for it. It was a very small dealer's room. Last year, I gave the dealer's room the benefit of the doubt because RamenCon is a small convention, so I shouldn't expect the dealer's room to be big. But I have been to other small conventions this year such as Anime Crossroads, No Brand Con, and Anime Apocalypse, and they offered much larger dealer's rooms. This is one area that I believe RamenCon should push to expand for next year at their new location. As for the artist alley, I felt that it was a very decent artist alley. It had a very good selection of artwork and is what you would expect at a small con, but I have definitely seen better. But the biggest highlight was the Sunday anime swap meet. It was a huge swap meet with so much to look and see here. If you needed to clear out any anime, accessories, or video games that you may have, then this is the place to go. You can arguably say that the Sunday swap meet was Ramen Con's true dealer's room. Though the one issue with the Sunday swap meet was that it was extremely cramped. It was painfully hard to move around this area. Luckily, the crowd died down after a couple of hours. Perhaps for next year, this could be in a much larger room. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about is the video game room. I felt that the game room this year just didn't live up to how great it was from last year. There were a decent amount of things to play, but I felt that last year's game room had a bit more variety. But don't get me wrong, I'm still a huge fan of game rooms hosted by iPlay Games, but I felt that this wasn't the best game room that they hosted. Regardless, if your convention has iPlay Games hosting their game room, then you really need to check them out. I will put a link in the description. Now before I continue, I would like to talk about my brand new verdict system that I will be using for my reviews. My verdict will be divided into two parts. 
The first part is that I go over all the things I liked and disliked about the convention, and the second part is who I would recommend this convention to, all leading up to my final score out of 10. I had several people tell me that they watch my reviews before deciding on which con they attend, so I really hope that this second part would give those people a better idea of who this con would appeal to the most. And I also wanted to give a huge shout out to three awesome people who inspired me to make this new verdict. Cody from Convention Reviews, Marshall from Red Dawn Fury, and Happy Cosplayer Rebecca. Please check out their channels with the link in the description. RamenCon in 2016 was another excellent year for this small convention. It continues being the place for the ultimate social experience at conventions, while also delivering the core fundamentals of a con in a much smaller package. The biggest thing I liked about RamenCon was the strong social atmosphere. One of the best social experiences I had at a convention this year. I'm sure everyone will walk out meeting new friends at this convention. The next things I liked were the excellent organization and staff. I never had any problems with the con's organization, and you have the awesome staff to thank for how well organized this con was. Next are all the great events that went on at this convention. Ramen Con may be a small con, but don't let that fool you. They put together tons of different events and that awesome rave on Saturday. And don't forget about that great guest lineup. And the last thing I liked about Ramen Con was the anime swap meet. I didn't get a chance to check it out last year, but I'm really glad to see how great this swap meet was, and how there was so much to see here. The only things I disliked about RamenCon this year was first, I felt that the dealer's room was just too small. Compared to the other small conventions I went to, RamenCon's dealer's room is behind in terms of size. For their new location, the con should definitely consider bringing in more dealers. And I also didn't like how cramped the Sunday swap meet was. This swap meet should be in a much larger room for next year when you consider how popular it was this year. And the last thing I disliked, and I felt that this was a minor dislike, was that I felt that the game room just wasn't as great as last year. But I still think I Play Games hosts amazing game rooms. I can't wait to see how they will take advantage of the new venue for next year. Now let's move on to the second part of my verdict, who I would recommend RamenCon to. RamenCon is a small size convention, and my recommended travel time, the most time that you should travel to get to this convention, is 4 hours. As I said numerous times before, RamenCon is a great place to meet new friends, so I definitely recommend it to those who want to meet new people. For those who had never experienced a con before, will find RamenCon to be an excellent first con, as it has all the bells and whistles larger cons have, but smaller. If you're a fan of voice actors and looking to have the best interaction with them, then you will have a great experience at this con, and I strongly feel that it's only going to get better. RamenCon puts on tons of different fan panels, so I would also recommend this con for fan panel lovers. And lastly, because of how big the anime swap meet was, I would recommend RamenCon for those who love swap meets. RamenCon still stands strong in 2016, and I'm really going to miss their old venue for their location. If you live out in Indiana and want to avoid those overpriced Comic Cons, then pack your bags and head out to the tastiest convention in town. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give Ramen Con 2016 an 8 out of 10. Hey guys, thank you all for watching my review video. And for all the photos I took at RamenCon, as well as every other convention that I attended, please check out my Facebook photography page. And also, please check out my very first cosplay music video from RamenCon 2016. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more convention videos. Until then, I will see you at the next con. This is Justin, thank you for watching.